Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about the Lightphone and Verizon Message Plus. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism and how to improve our lives. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been using my Lightphone 2 with number share from Verizon. This is something that is the similar thing as digits. So you leave a phone at home with your main SIM card, and then you have a temporary or a number that is kind of like a dummy number. And essentially you get forwarded text messages, you get forwarded phone calls to that number. It works pretty flawlessly for me, but some users have been reporting errors when it comes to the messages or sometimes not getting all the calls. So to Today I wanted to showcase a little bit of a different method, same concept, but this time with your computer. So let's say that you only have a Lightphone 2, or you're not interested in paying 10 bucks with number share, or you're not interested also in having a smartphone at all anymore. You only want to have the Lightphone 2 in your computer for productivity. So how to use that is Verizon Message Plus. Verizon Message Plus is an application that Verizon has, and they have clients for Android, iOS, they have a web client, and they have a Mac OS client. And essentially with the web client, it works flawlessly with the Lightphone 2. You will get your messages, your pictures, links, YouTube videos, whatever it is, whatever media that you're getting that you will not be able to use on your iPhone, you'll be able to get it there. On top of that, you will be able to reply to text messages faster because the experience on the iPhone 2 is still a little bit lacking when it comes to the texting experience. They're improving it and we're hoping that that gets released. But if you want to use a typing machine such as your computer to reply to text messages, it's even better. Or if you don't want to reply to text messages right away and you just want to wait till the end of the day, this is also a great alternative. Essentially what you do is you go to the Verizon Message Plus website, you click on the web client, you sign in with your My Verizon credentials, and that's it. After that, you have all of your text messages from your Lightphone 2 right there. You may need to sync your contacts and have a couple of extra things. I have not been able to sync my contacts properly. I still need to figure some things out when it comes to that. But all my text messages are there and I mostly remember who I'm talking to or I glance quickly into my light phone if I need to know who is the one that's texting me. But I know most of my contacts or the people that I text more frequently so I know their numbers. So that's not an issue for me. But it may be an issue for you so make sure that you kind of tinker around. You may need to have Verizon Cloud in order to sync the contacts appropriately or you may need to use a smartphone in order to sync the contacts with the Verizon Message Plus app on a smartphone. So again, Verizon Message Plus is a great alternative. You'll be able to have all of your contacts, all of your text messages, images, whatever it is that you're being sent to, you'll be able to have it and not need number share, which is not working for some people. And also you will not be able to need a smartphone anymore. So you'll be able to only use your Lightphone 2 as your primary device and only device and maybe your laptop for extra productivity if you want to use it that way. So that's it for me for this video. I have a couple of extra videos coming up and as you see, there's a little bit of a new setup. Um, I'll be using this setup and the other setup as well. Um, I'll be having a channel update very soon. So probably like two days from now, I'll drop that video with a channel update and things that have changed since the last couple of videos. Thanks for supporting. Uh, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any concerns or any troubleshooting that you need, make sure to drop it down below. If you have any questions about this, if it's not working for you, make sure to report it here on the comments or also on the Reddit. And if you have any other suggestions or whatever it is that you want to see on the channel, then make sure to also comment down below. I have one more video coming by the end of the year where I will be reviewing the Lightphone as one year. How has my experience has been and what are some of the things I will change? And also, what does it actually take to use the Lightphone as your primary device? And what are some of the extra purchases that you may need? So that's it for me and I'll see you in the next one.